she was all excited. He was excited about being a part of it. You know, that was, I want to sign up and I want to go first week and maybe the second week. As it got closer, you know, the anxiety came out more and more. She was very nervous and really didn't know what to expect. And all of a sudden, there was quite a bit of anxiety. At the beginning of camp, she was wanting to come home. It was going to be too hard, more than she could handle. He must have gotten, it over, gotten over it very quickly. Her life and her challenges are nothing compared to what these kids go through on a daily basis. You know, he said, you definitely realize how much you take for granted in life after you've experienced something like that. He said, just, you know, as you said, the bathing, um, the feeding, he's fed through a tube, the wheelchair, you know, it takes, Everything takes time. Life wasn't about Lindsay. It was, she was se um, not, self, not selfish before. I think it very much affected his, his outlook on life in general. But there was a selflessness about her whenever she came home. She was more caring and concerning. He said, this has changed my life. It was very emotional when she got home Friday night. She was so emotional. When he first got home, he came home with Courtney. And it's something I'll never forget just because they were, they were so high. They were the, the joy and elation between the two of them. And uh, it was hard for her to adjust because she was always wanting to take care of something. And they, they just kept saying it was awesome, it was awesome, it was just awesome. She was always taking care of Caitlin. You're so used to cutting their food up and helping them eat wiping their mouths, just the little things, and it, she was lost without it. Bathing and feeding and just figuring it all out. It was like a 24 by 7 job taking care of those children. Sun up to sun down, is that what you were, you know, having to do? And he said, oh yeah, and then some. So it was an adjustment because Caitlin wasn't around anymore. She really missed Caitlin. And there were, a there were times when those kids when we would be down and sad and tired and somebody would show up, one of the campers would show up and give them a hug and give them a kiss on the cheek and say, I love you, Lindsay. So the rewards are just, of doing that are just more than I ever dreamed. She said, I had to stay, Mom. I had to stay. She um, came in and she was so tired. It was... It's exhausting, and I think that's why he was so awestruck by the parents, the foster parents that would take on these, these little boys. It made a difference in her as to what she could give just in that one week, how much it gave to those kids, and then also how much it gave to the parents. He did say that um, meeting the parents, the foster parents of these two little boys, he said that was an incredible experience. He said, Mom, they do this day in and day out. She, she'll go back next year and the year after and the year after. She loves those kids. He said, it's just amazing. And she said, Mom, I wouldn't have never come home for the world. Those kids needed me and I needed them.